we're, we're keen boot bearers, so we go and most Sunday mornings and pick up all sorts of random bits and pieces. Like this cherub head came from came from one. I think it's a sort of fountain head and it's meant to squirt water, but I think it's quite like garden statuary and things like this when you hide them, so you don't see them instantly. Unlike um, Neptune, who's kind of in your face at the moment, isn't he? But uh, he's in his temporary position there. He's going to find himself a final home at some stage. And we're going to find his trident as well. This is um, this year's project. So by the time we're open next year, this is going to be a little water feature, sort of a wildlife pool, yeah. which will reflect. It's in the shade, which you're not really meant to do, but it's just going to be a bit reflective of the trees. And I'm hoping to get our little um, boy rigged up. So in a very tasteful way, he's going to be having a little tinkle into the pool. So yes, these two roses were about the only two plants that were here already, so we've left them. Um, we don't know what this one's called, but I think this one is Princess Elizabeth or Queen Elizabeth. It's quite a well-known rose, and it's a mass of pink flowers when it comes out. So I think this is quite an old rose now. It's probably a you know, good 20 years old or something, so... And then I do like topiary and round shapes, and that's why I've got books on the top of the garage. I, like, I do like these round shapes. This is a David Austin rose called Charlotte. That, and my goddaughter's called Charlotte, so it's quite nice to have something that's named well, after her. And the borders are just are filled with um, pelargoniums. When we moved here, we didn't have enough. We didn't. We had. We didn't have enough plants. We didn't have enough money. So these are really good border fillers. quite spectacular. Our tulips in the last row of their life, you can see, but they're just, I love them like this actually, when they're just going over. The parrot tulips. Do you remember what name the parrot tulips were? The dark ones? I can't remember. hiding place to sit down and then you've got, I've got my two um, Japanese aces and this red dark red one I've had for years I planted that in my parents garden probably back in 1985 or something like that and when they moved I dug it up and put it into this pot and it's been in that pot happy ever since and it's you know getting quite ancient now and then the green one we've just planted um, so hopefully in a few years time that will be a bit bushier <laughs> 